uh, if you log out from this system, please try to uh, log in again. I don't know why. Okay, uh, 55 orang, 55 person, but suddenly somebody being logged out by the system, not by me. Ah. <laughs> Itu system yang log kamu keluar. I don't know why. Okay, so if you being logged, uh, suddenly you being logged out, please try to log in again. Try to go in again. I don't know why what happened to the system. All right. Okay, all right. So we look at unit one. Unit one, we want to describe the definition of entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial. And you have to understand the contribution of entrepreneurship. Identify the characteristics of successful entrepreneur and know what are the success stories of entrepreneur. All right, so this is the for unit one. So for unit one, we look at a few things. First, we look at the definition of entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. The characteristic of successful entrepreneurs and uh, what uh, entrepreneurship competency analysis. This is uh, in the textbook, all right? You don't have the book at the moment, so I do not paksala, tidak paksala. But if you have the book, you can try to read that and try to do the exercise. Contribution of entrepreneurship to the society and next successful entrepreneur story we look at some of the entrepreneurs i think many of them you know huh? okay you know that uh you know that uh sometimes entrepreneurs you you know they are quite famous so you need to know them right um okay all right, let's look at what are the definition of entrepreneur or entrepreneurship. Okay, my first question to you all, okay, to you all in the class, type in the chat, answer in the chat. What do you understand about entre entrepreneur? Ke usahawan. Apa yang kamu faham dengan usahawan? Can you try to answer in chat? Apa yang kamu faham dengan uh, perkataan usahawan? What do you understand with the term entrepreneur? Okay, what do you understand with the entrepreneur? Anyone? Answer in the chat. Let me see your response. Okay, okay we start to have a few starters saying something. Okay, somebody like uh, Gillian, uh, Sophia saying they are selling, selling things. All right. Uh, yeah, part of it, yes, they do sell something. Okay, entrepreneur, they do sell something. What else do you understand about entrepreneur? But if you say they are selling something, then what is the difference? Or what are the difference between entrepreneur and businessman? Like that. Starting a business. Uh, a business, do business, okay. Few of you say they do business, of course, when you sell something, they are doing business. So, again, my question, what are the difference between businessman and entrepreneur? Definitely, businessman and entrepreneur are not the same. Okay, mereka bukan yang sama. All right. What else? What else? Business, business. The ability to use the knowledge in uh, business. Okay, a good answer by Ayu Shamira. Ayu Shamira, a good answer. The ability to use their knowledge in business. Yes, we can see that uh, entrepreneurs, they have uh, using their knowledge in business. And most of them, they are doing a lot of uh, uh, creation. Okay, creation. So when we talk about business, all right, businessmen, they are just buying and selling. Okay, many of your definition is more like a uh, businessman, all right. Another good answer is uh, by Vitaus. Vitaus, uh, it invent, should be there like that. They invent things that will improve the quality of, of life instead of buying things that sell it back. Yes. They invent something, they have creativity to help us to improve, consumer to improve our life. And then uh, another good answer, 
by uh, Mashita and Muhammad Fahari, Fahami saying that they take risk. Yes, entrepreneur they take risk. Okay, and then rent. Okay, somebody mentioned a good term, renting, rent. Okay, uh, most of the time entrepreneur they have their own brand. Okay, we don't say they must, but most of the time they have their own brand. A good entrepreneur is not only selling product, but they sell off their own services, their identity as an entrepreneur. All right, so, so I think some of you uh, have a much better understanding about entrepreneur now. Huh? So look at the slide in more the, uh, the definition by Morocco, uh, Kurako and Hoggis 2007. Okay, entrepreneur is a dynamic process according to him. Okay. Dynamic means that the process is keep on changing, keep on changing, huh? and then at the same time, let me go up. Okay, uh, it involves four different dimensions: individual, organization, environment, and process of cooperation. Maksudnya, you need to cooperate, bekerja sama. Okay, we always use that term. Bekerja sama dengan individu lain, organisasi lain. Dalam persekitaran untuk mencapai sesuatu. That is what we call entrepreneurship. Okay. So entrepreneurship is a dynamic. What do we mean by dynamic process? Meaning that process of changing. You keep on changing. You keep on improving. You keep on creating something new. All right. So who is entrepreneur? If you look at the terms by French words, the French word is a very very old term. Entrepreneur. It means to undertake. That means to start a new term, new business. Okay, new enterprise, new business, but that is a very, very old definition. Now, the definition of entrepreneur is no longer just to start a new business because if it, if entrepreneur is just to start a new business, then we don't need this term, we just need a word business name, right? So, they are different. So, let's look at the definition by Kurako and Hoggis again, 2007. They define entrepreneur as an individual, anybody, an individual who say, business opportunities under conditions of uncertainty. They look for business opportunity. Of course, you can say they are creating new business, new kind of business, new kind of service, new kind of product. Okay, and entrepreneur is a person who try by examining and make wise consideration to order management risks and take risks in business by holding to the main objective of the business. So the main objective of entrepreneur is not only for profit. Okay? Businessmen, people are saying businessmen doing business for profit. But for entrepreneurs, they have more objectives. They want innovation. They, they do innovation. They, they want to use their creativity to create something new. They have, but And at the same time, they hope to earn profit. And at the same time, they want development. It may be their own development or development of their own companies as well as development of the people and the society in the country. Okay, so that is the entrepreneur. So when we keep on saying entrepreneur, remember we keep using the word innovation, creativity, innovation. So what are the difference between inventor and entrepreneur? Remember, inventor, they just create something new. For example, okay, for example, uh, I can create a software, for example, just example, I create a software. But if I keep the software for my own use, then I am inventor. I'm not entrepreneur. Well, entrepreneur like the Microsoft companies, they uh, they have the creation of new products and they sell it to people. And with that, they uh, they sell to many people and help many people to have a better. We call it user a uh, user friendly user friendly products. Okay, to help us. To Otherwise, your computer will, you need to have a lot of formulas. For people like me, I don't know how to use formula. I don't know how to type formula. It's a bit difficult. So, Microsoft will uh, solve the problem for us. We just look at the icon. We just click and we can solve uh, do a lot of things. Okay. So, what are the characteristics of these entrepreneurs? You can uh, have many examples of entrepreneurs in the world okay, that you might know. For example, um, Bill Gates. For example, uh, Jack Ma. Okay. For example, Tom Tato, Tony Fernandez. All these are 
entrepreneurs. What are the important characteristics? Okay, what are the important characteristics? In simple, we have four most important. They are more than that. They have more than that, but these are the four most important. First, patient for business. Business that they love their business. They would like to do products. Okay, they like to create something for their business. And then they focus on product or customers. Meaning that they focus to improve your product and at the same time you hope to to solve your customers' problems and find a solution for many things. Okay, for many things. So product and customer focus is very important. They are not focusing on their own companies or their own uh, profit. No. They are focusing on more like uh, more like uh, products and consumers, all right, rather than themselves. Okay, T for tenacity despite failure means that they are willing to face any challenge and take risks, even though they face uh, fail, they fail in the certain state, but they will stand up and try to continue to work again. One very good example is uh, you know, the example by Jack Ma. He spent lots of time to improve his uh, Alibaba business. Okay, but before his success, he go through a lot of up and down, and then solve a lot of problems before he can achieve what he got today. Right? And intelligent. Remember, intelligent is very. Uh, intelligent is very important. Okay, very important. Um. Okay, I think I have some chat from somebody. Okay, saying the voice is unclear, right? Um, right, let me move a little bit. Maybe uh, the voice, the sound of the fan is too strong. Okay, plus the, a little bit of raining outside. Okay, uh, is it better? Is it better now? Um, yeah. Okay. If if uh, it's not clear, you just let me know. Huh? You you let me know because I will look at the chat at the same time I present so that I don't miss you. Uh, don't miss a lot of thing. If you don't let me know, I I do I don't really know that you cannot hear clearly. Okay. Thank you very much for informing. All right. So so I explained already. Okay, the first like patient for business, they believe that uh, they believe in the value of business, so they try to improve the people life. Okay, they are not improving only the business themselves, but they're trying to improve the business life. Okay, for example, this uh, Nirofa hijab, I think for Muslim lady, you know a lot. Okay, this is quite a popular brand, been quite fam uh, quite uh, expensive also, certain thing. Okay. Second, for example, product and customer focus. Let's look at Grab. Okay. Uh, I think uh, his name is uh, Anthony Tan. All right. The the boss of this um the boss of Grab is Anthony Tan. He's a uh, Singaporean, but he started his business Grab in Malaysia. Right. So what happened is he looked at there is a need of the customers, consumers. We need a good or uh, or what we call we need a public transport but sorry to say the public transport in malaysia is not reliable not as good as many other countries like uh, one example is like if, if you go to kl you know if you get up to the taxi the taxi will say i don't want to i don't want to pay you there there's a traffic jam whatever reasons they will knock you down the car and then you you cannot say anything okay you can't complain anything you are not happy with the service but you still have to use them okay so he looked at this as a, a lot of issues with the public transport so he looked he created a platform for transport private services by uh people all right and then this is what a good entrepreneur is doing all right you try to solve some of the problems by your customers focus on your product and solve the problems by your customers make them feel better and then when you see the grab platform they are no longer looking at just a providing transport private transportation okay but also they provide new okay 
uh, new service, for example, food delivery and all sorts of other services. So this is something that they're trying to improve themselves during this pandemic, especially during this pandemic. We need all these platforms to help us, to make us our life easier. Okay, next, uh, I talk about Jack Ma, Jack Ma in Alibaba, okay? Because entrepreneurs are typically trying something new. So the failure rate is naturally high, meaning that very uh, common to face failure or you fail in certain issues. Very common, always, always always fail but at the same time if you try you will get something all right you try you will get something all right so a definite the defining characteristic for a uh, defining characteristic for successful entrepreneur is the ability to preserve through the setbacks and failures right and intelligent for example uh, we put this here okay but bear in mind why we put this here? Because he started his business during nine, around 1997. Okay, Asia. Uh, not started actually. Asia was there, but Asia during that time in 1997 is felt facing a very huge debt, right? Hutang yang sangat tinggi dengan Asia during that time, 1997. And if you remember, the history of uh, economy of Malaysia, 1997 is a very important year, which we are facing a very big recession that involved many countries, including Malaysia. Okay, uh, a recession during that time. Huh? Uh, Kemelesetan economy, if you don't understand. So, Kemelesetan economy in the year 1997, around that. And he started his business uh, or no, he take over the Air Asia from another company with just wondering it, okay, uh, or for the and he used his intelligence to to build up his business. So imagine that, and I'm looking forward to see how he bring this company over this coming pandemic things up uh, because during now we know that we cannot fly. We cannot even fly from Sabah to KL, you are not welcome. Or even to K from KL to Sabah, also you are not welcome. So we cannot fly, even local, we cannot fly. So I'm looking forward to see how that he solved the problem. Let's just look at it. Eh? Maybe they have new issues, but I look at their website or their emails. Now they are doing promotion selling, but they are not promos promoting the ticket. Those days, uh, if you used to buy tickets, you know, uh, you wait for the time to say, I, I got promotion tomorrow. Then everybody wait for that. We wait for promotion of tickets. Any tickets. But now you cannot, okay? You you are not flying. So you won't buy the ticket. So when we look at, I look at their promotion, they look, they are trying to sell things like uh, food. They are trying to sell products in their line and other things, even insurance, they are trying to sell all sorts of things. They are trying to change, right? So we can see entrepreneurs, they use the intelligence to change their company for better. All right, so these are the other characteristics suggested by Core 1991, you can have a look. Okay, so uh, actually you you can try to, to examine, analyze your own, entrepreneurship competency yeah? you can try to analyze your own entrepreneurial competency by using this uh, personal entrepreneurial competency analysis but this is in the book that uh, uh, at the moment if you have the book from your senior you can try to do it if you don't have the book uh, we just keep it uh, next time i will try to give you the exercise to try just to know your own entrepreneurship do you think you have that Okay, so what are the contributions of entrepreneurship? Okay, look at this. Entrepreneur or entrepreneurship by people like, for example, Mark, okay? Chung Kerber, Chung Kerber, how about him? Okay, he created Facebook. And then we say Facebook is a very important social platform today, especially for, for people. Okay, in many countries like Malaysia, also many of us are using Facebook, still using Facebook, even though I know some of you already uh, prefer to use Instagram, but Facebook is still an option. And then 
through the Facebook, they are not only provide a social platform. You you see people, you meet up people using Facebook, but at the same time also using Facebook, you can you can sell your things. Okay, this is a new platform for marketing. So I expect when you do your business, you start to do your practical uh, business. Huh? you have to try to do use Facebook as a platform to sell your products. Create remember create an account for your business and then decide to do it. Week five, huh? now it's week two, so you have weeks to prepare and start to do. Okay, another person, Grab uh, Anthony Tan. All right, he's the person for Grab Send, and you see Grab not only provide uh, services but they provide this uh, job opportunity. Look at that. With Grab, I see many people who are our work temporary. Okay, our work temporary now they they drive Grab as a temporary job. At least you find something temporary to do. You earn some money for your family. Okay, and then I see many people like uh, uh, elder adults, they already retired. And then they want to do something because they feel that they are still young, they still go work, so they do grab. Okay, so this is one way. And Shopee, like for Shopee and Lazada, they provide platform for you to sell online. So especially for Shopee, if you are new in the business, you have something for sale, Shopee is a better platform because Lazada is quite difficult for you to register. However, as a consumer wise, I feel that Lazada sometimes is um, maybe uh, more promising, you can trust better. But Shopee is a good platform for you to start your new business. And then I think um, Tony Fernandez for Asia used to contribute a lot to the countries, to the people, job opportunity, okay? Uh, to make uh, our life easier. For example, for Asia, they have a uh, uh, flight dialect from Johor Bahru to KK, and also from Pulau Pinang to KK. So make it easier for you from that different areas to fly to KK rather than you from Johor Bahru, you go to KL and fly from KL to KK. So this is the convenience that you bring to the people. And at the same time, uh, for Asia, they contribute tax. Jukai, they pay a lot of tax. So every time you buy a ticket, you pay tax. Jukai. So these tax are for the government. It helps the government to improve our country's economies. That's why during this time, during this pandemic, kalau pandemic, mereka tiada business, Asia no business, they don't pay tax. Our country has also lost a very important income. Okay, income for the country lost because. Many com companies like Asia, they can't pay tax. They are facing loss. So they are they need something. Uh, countries are facing problems also. If continue until next year, then very likely, very likely, we are facing recession. But how serious is the recession? I don't know. berterusan keadaan ini berterusan. Kita tidak boleh keluar. Kita tutup di rumah. Then Kemelesetan ekonomi besar kemungkinan akan berlaku. Okay, so it will be affected not only those uh, businessmen, but also affected you because ini tahun kedua kan? So next year will be third year. Okay, so for your, I think you are taking four years course, empat tahun ke three years? Let me know. You are taking four years, right? Most three years or four? Years? If you are taking Four years, doctor. Four years. Okay. If you are taking four years, you still still not so worried because not next year you you grad. But if you are taking four years, very very fast. Uh, three years, very fast. One more year, you will graduate. One more year, ah, uh, satu tahun lebih lah. I don't say uh, about two years lah. Two years you will graduate. So by the time you graduate, mungkin recession. Tapi untuk kamu yang empat tahun, if you take four years, your course is four years. You have one more like one more year to go, uh, uh, two, more, two more years, lah. So, like, two more years, two more years to go, ada masa lagi. Okay, uh, job opportunity mungkin peluang pekerjaan masa itu ada lagi. Okay, so, uh, uh, so it affect many people, okay, if the economy recession. So, let's talk about, uh, 
other successful entrepreneur, for example, Bill Gates, okay, then you you know the name, right? Okay, he created this what they call soft Microsoft, right? So this is a big company today. Okay, I don't want to explain more because we set some time for our topic two. Uh, you need to okay. Uh, Tan Sri Syed Mukhtar Al Buhari, right? Very famous also for the media. Uh, very famous as a, a Malay local entrepreneur, right? And imagine he is uh, now very famous. He is from a quite a, a difficult family also, right? And then Tony Fernandez and Robert Cobb, very famous for as a larger cooler, sugar king, king of sugar. Okay, the lead uh, dancery law, okay? another famous people. All right, so we can see many of these uh, successful people, rich people, they become rich because of business entrepreneurs. But at the same time, you see, these people who are very rich in the world, they are really entrepreneurs, for example, uh, Jeff, he created Amazon, for example, and Bill Gates, he created Microsoft. These people who created new products and then the new products allowed them to become very rich. So we can say you, you can be a very successful entrepreneur and then at the same time you earn a good amount of money if your product is very successful, okay? So in Malaysia, all right, so uh, I think you can go to Smart UMS to check out this video. I will not show the video here. It's in the Smart UMS. You can try to log in the Smart UMS to check out. All right, um, for this, actually for this unit one, we require you to start to divide into group. Okay, you know your group already. Some of you already have the, the members to join your WhatsApp group. So. Um, what you have to do is you starting this week you discuss with your members okay start discuss with your members what you want to do for your for your this uh, practicum project start to discuss what you want to do for your practical pro project for example uh, you, you remember last week I explained to you the different types whether you want to do a business you sell things or you want to do event you organize an event with you ask people to join with paying you how much money or you even can do a lot of uh, digitalized marketing for other people but all this you have to discuss first so what happens is every group i expect you when you do your grouping you meet up for the first time please select one leader Satu ketua kumpulana. select one leader and then the group leader has a very important role Tangkum jawab dia sangat penting untuk ketua kumpulan. Saya minta every time when you have meeting, you record the meeting. Or if you meet using WhatsApp, whatever, you screenshot your meeting or your dialogue. Kalau guna WhatsApp, tap saja, screenshot your your dialogue, whatever. Keep us on record because after your practical finish, you have to prepare the business portfolio. I expect everyone to answer what do you do what did you do for your practical project so it's very important the group leader to keep the record kalau lah ada ahli kumpulan yang langsung tidak bekerja sama tanpa alasan yang boleh diterima you let me know ah. if any of your members are not working together not cooperative tidak kerja sama you let me know because we don't want members to sit there waiting for months only because now i already reduce your numbers of uh, students in a group to six around six and seven people okay around six seven uh if there are more people joining then it will be eight but at the moment we you have around six to seven people in your group around that and then that is why i expect everyone to work together so kerja tukas tukas ketua kumpulan sangat penting ah setiap kali ada perjumpaan meeting discussion keep a record Ambil gambar or recording if you uh, if you use Google Meet record your Google Meet or if you are using uh, uh, WhatsApp you just dialogue you just screenshot your dialogue whatever okay and group leader please let me know if your group members uh, are not able to contact them you can't contact your group members 
or your group members disappear after two weeks or three weeks. All right. So this is very important for your first week. Discuss the activities and always think, think of what creativity you can create for your product or your service. Um, because you are from food science, so I expect maybe many of you want to do uh, selling food or related products. Okay, because if you have FSMP, so besar kemungkinan lah kalau kamu jual makanan itu boleh diterima. But please, bukan makan makanan yang terlampau biasa kita lihat macam nasi lemak biasa. At least you have some creativity that you show to me in terms of product or service. All right, this is so important. Okay, so for this class activity, another thing is if you go to my classroom, my classroom you can find there is a short question asking who is the entrepreneur that you admire. Okay, siapakah usahawan yang anda uh, minat ataupun anda boleh dijadikan sebagai model. Okay, who is the entrepreneur that inspire you or who is the entrepreneur that you admire? Please go to the classroom, okay, Google Classroom to answer the question. Simple saja, tulis nama um, dan satu ayat memberitahu bahkan mengapa kamu memilih usahawan ini. Siapa dan mengapa? Who and why? Who is the entrepreneur and why do you want, uh, why do you admire her or him or what? What do you think you can learn from him as a role model? Okay, itu activity individual. Eh? Okay, so uh, that is for your that is for your unit one. All right, so I stop the presentation for unit one. Before I continue to unit two, any questions you want to ask? Any questions? You can type in the uh, in the chat. Any questions? Questions? I'll give you a few minutes to type the question if you have the questions. All right. Any question for your group? Maybe some of you already have some ideas. Some ideas. Okay, so you can you can ask about your ideas. You might have something that you are not very sure. Okay, if no questions, then we go to uh, we go to our Julian. I think I wrong page. Okay, I'll share the. Okay, I think someone mentioned uh, freedom spend. Maybe it is too early for me to ask, but I would like to know is our group will be given budget or we need to make our own budget and it's up to us to able to make profit or cover your budget. Yes, uh, it's not too early to ask. It's the good time to ask. Everybody should know. We never provide any budget for you to start business. So you have to count out your budget yourself. So that's why we say try to make use of digital marketing to do your own business. Okay, Masunya, you you try to use Facebook, Instagram, even you start a blog. Okay, please. Uh, before I forget, all the groups should start a blog or a website, 
uh, find a website link or a blog that you can start to promote, use to promote your products. Because later on, before you submit, uh, before the, uh, the by week around week 13, week 14, you have to submit a business e-portfolio by using a blog. So I expect you to start to promote in your blog. Later on, you just continue to improve your blog or your website. And then that will be your final submission. Okay, your final submission. So no budget will be given. Again, back to the question. No budget will be given. So it's up to you to able to make your own profit to cover out your cost. Okay, to make your own profit, cover out your cost. So that's why I will say, try to sell something that people want to buy and then you can earn a, even a small money. And remember, profit is not the the criteria to to analyze to uh, to assess you ah, saya tidak mengambil oh, berapa keuntungan berapa maka tidak okay keuntungan tidak akan mempengaruhi maka anda your marks is not depends on not assess based on how much profit you make but I will hope that when you do your practical activities your project you show me your creativity again. Your innovation, your creativity, creativity in many ways. Jangan bagi tahu creativity anda ialah membuat promosi dalam Facebook, membuat promosi dalam Ins, membuat promosi dalam guna uh, WhatsApp itu creativity. Itu bukan ah, bukan saya itu tidak angkat creativity. Itu yang mesti dibuat. So what else can you do? Apa lagi yang anda boleh buat your creativity? Okay, so that is important. Dan uh, creativity, dari, mungkin creativity dari segi service from the creativity from the point of service from the point of products and other things. So that's important. Uh, and uh, of course, I hope that you can make profit to cover all your costs. Dan mengikut sejarah EPK lah, kebanyakan kumpulan dapat cover all their costs. Okay, mendapat uh, keuntungan yang uh, ataupun jualan yang mencukupi untuk membayar kos mereka masing-masing. Alright, so if you have more questions, you can ask me later. We go to unit two first. Alright, okay. I hope that uh, uh, if you you have question after the class, you also can ask me from the WhatsApp using WhatsApp. Uh, doctor, can we focus on many type of products or just focus on food? Okay, from from Masita got one question. Uh, asking whether we, I can, you can focus on many type of products. Uh, remember, I explained to you last week. You can focus on many products, but in the same, uh, what you call the same industry. For example, okay. For example, you you are selling uh, satu orang jual nasi lemak, satu orang jual minuman. Jangan nasi lemak yang biasa lah. Tapi nasi lemak dengan resepi khas ibu anda. Okay. Your special recipe nasi lemak, for example, and then another friend will sell drinks from their side because this friend doesn't know the recipe. But you and you cannot work together. Disebabkan ini COVID tak boleh jumpa. So your friend cannot do the nasi lemak. Then your friend will sell another drinks. Okay, another genius minuman. So you have different types of products, different types of products, but in the same industry. Okay, you can say that um, we are doing food and beverage industry, for example. Lah. Food and beverage. Or you, you say I'm doing, uh, pro I'm selling product about snacks. Okay. Or light, light refreshment type of products like a kui snack. Kui snack and others can be one category. So, is uh you can sell different products but in the same industry okay uh should you just focus on the second question uh, or just focus on food i will not say must focus on group food and will not say that okay tidak semestinya makanan ataupun uh, minuman tetapi saya kalahkan because you are more like uh, in the science uh, FSMP so you know more about this but if you can think of other products or other service related to food okay for example kalau lah kamu ada, uh, kamu, if you can 
uh, provide service like nutrition about service or training about nutrition for food. Ah, itu pun boleh. Hey, I know um, one of my friend, she is from this uh, FSMP. What she is doing, uh, providing a service for friends only, lah, not for, for money. Eh? For friends is, she help us to design or prepare a diet, uh, a meal, okay? Uh, a list of food that we have to take every day. If you want to diet, she help to prepare that for no fees. Of course, that is because of friends. Okay, you, if you know how to do that, that can be your service because that is related what you are doing. Okay, so uh, right, we I go back to unit two. If you have some more question, you can ask me uh, later. Okay, for unit two, we look at creativity and innovation. Okay, look at the importance of creating, uh, developing creative ideas, and look at know the techniques to develop creative ideas. All right. So for creative and innovation in entrepreneurship, remember innovation is the product that you created. Okay, innovasi ya produk tersebut yang dicipta. Creativity, we refer to the ideas. Okay, we refer to the ideas and so we look at what are the creative thinking process that you can use to develop your ideas. Remember, for your group, when you do your discussion, you need to come up with ideas. So use the thinking process that we suggest to, to create your ideas. And then importance of creativity to people. Okay, and techniques for generating ideas. So these are the topics that you are going to look at in this uh, YouTube. All right, so this, what you can see in your your slide is the handphone. Okay, I would say Motorola is one of the earliest, uh, not the first, because there are many, uh, actually before that, there are what you call, uh, what you call satellite phone before that. Even they already have satellite phone. So after that, we come up with new uh, Motorola phone, very big, heavy. Maybe some of you, your parents, keep it at home uh, just for, for you to see, okay? You are not longer using it, Motorola. Then you can see the there are many versions of handphones from Motorola to Nokia to uh, getting smaller. Then again, getting bigger, bigger, and bigger with Sony, Apple. Of course, this picture is a bit old already. Okay, this photo is a bit old. But from here, you can see every time with a handphone, they create something new. You have, you can use something product that you have in hand, product yang sedia ada, and then you add on something to improve it, to change it, to make it better. Contohnya makanan. Kamu boleh jual makanan. Dengan resepi yang baru yang lebih sehat. Okay. For example, if you are selling food. Okay. Certain food are very oily. Okay. Cholesterol sangat tinggi. Okay. Uh, uh, high carbon. Okay. So what can you do to reduce that? To come with a product less oil, healthier food to sell. Maybe that will be something that very popular people want to see. Eh? Because consumer today want to know. Look for popular, uh, healthier products. So that is what happened to uh, products, okay? And role of creativity is very important because with creativity, it improve your efficiency. Efficiency means become it, uh, you achieve your target, you achieve your objective, you solve the problems, and effectiveness. Effectiveness meaning that you make faster and easier to do. All right, so, okay, there is a video, but the video has some problem. We cannot log in and uh, we cannot watch the video anymore, okay? So, sorry for that. I already checked. So, let's look at the creative thinking process. Creative thinking process starts from knowledge accumulation. Maksudnya, kamu mengumpul uh, maklumat dan uh, pengetahuan. Maklumat dan pengetahuan. Kemudian, you use the knowledge, the information that you know to start thinking. Incubation means that you start thinking for the ideas. You use what you know. For example, you know how to cook. Then, but what you know is just you know how to cook very uh, 
common food. Then you you know use your knowledge that you learn to think of what can I do with my skill and my knowledge to come up with new ideas. So new ideas needed you to start thinking, but based on your knowledge. Also, maybe you you have the skills, and then you start thinking, what can you do next? Okay, then come up with the ideas and tell your ideas to your friends. Together, you evaluate, assess your idea, analyze your ideas to see whether your ideas is uh, workable or not. If not, then go back to step one again. All right. So this is the thinking process. The it is very important. It is very important to for you to think of creative ideas for your business because creative ideas can solve a lot of problem. Okay, a lot of problem. For example, you solve the problem of consumers' difficulties, limited resources. It's a problem. So, so limited resources in this problem. So, how do you solve it? And the problems of environment. For example, now we are facing pandemic. Okay, pandemic, uh, COVID nineteen affecting all of us. Okay, kalau kamu di Sabah, you know that you have to stay at home. Mereka di Serengo juga perlu stay at home. People in other areas were told that you still can go out, but please, it's better for you to stay at home. Okay, so with this, okay, with this, many companies are facing problem. Okay, tell me. What did you see? Apakah syarikat, apakah aktiviti ataupun apakah strategi syarikat untuk menghadapi masalah pandemik ini? Okay, share in the chat now. Okay, let me see if you have, uh, you see some examples. During this pandemic, what strategies or what companies do or even supermarket do to solve the problems that facing by consumer now or facing in the environment, the problem of environment? Cuba? Uh, dalam masa dua tiga minit, type your 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 what your your findings or what do you see? Type it, share it with your friends now. Cuba lihat ada orang kan? Okay, I give you few minutes. You you start to type. Okay, provide delivery service. Yes, untuk uh, khasnya untuk uh, seperti restoran, eh? contoh yang restoran. Uh, yes, they do delivery. Even uh, apa tu uh, penjual, uh, the businessman in the pasar, the pasar lah, the marketplace. Also, they do selling. Some they do online selling. Some they do on cash deliver, cash on delivery, delivery services. Apa lagi? Okay, contohnya untuk uh, pasar raya. Supermarket, for example, supermarket. Okay, what do they do? They do online, and then for example, one example is by uh, if you are locals, uh, in Sabah, then you know, like for example, survey now they start to promote their online services. You can purchase online, and then you start uh, you to pick up. Okay, you pergi ambil lah produk itu dari uh, selepas mereka sediakan produk itu dan bayar dengan Boots or pay with boots or pay with cash, whatever method. Okay, so this is what they're doing. Okay, another example is live selling, especially yes, a good example. Live selling, especially saya nampak syarikat yang menjual contohnya menjual ikan. Okay, ah pasar lah, mereka businessman who used to sell in pasar, they do live selling. For example, fish, seafood. Okay, using Facebook. This is one way. Okay, remember if you are doing live selling, this is open to everyone. And then this is a way to do promotion also. Okay, you see that even businessmen they are changing themselves to digital marketing. So how about you? Okay, how about you? Okay, when you do your products, what else? Coba lihat ah, ah before ah this one pandemic. Okay, go and show you the videos. Contohnya ini, uh, when you see dia dia uniform, okay? The uniform show that they are the employees of Thai Airways. Thai Airways is a company like uh, something like uh, providing 
airline services like mask, okay? Mereka menyediakan perkhidmatan penerbangan, airline services. So what happened is they are facing the same problems like Air Asia, like mask facing now. So what strategy they take? Imagine uh, airline services, they can't do anything. So they start selling. One example is by A, Airways, they sell street food. Makanan lah yang di, what we call street food is, makanan yang biasa kita lihat di jual is uh, uh, tepi jalan lah, okay, street food. So what happened is, they sell, you can see, they have a very good business actually. And this, first, they help to solve the employees. The employees, some of them, they have become, they are the cook, preparing food for the airlines. Now, they can prepare the food on spot and then they still have work to do so they they are not that seriously affected at least they are working okay they are not being cut down okay they are not being terminated bukan dibuang kerja sekurang-kurangnya mereka ada kerja and at the same time solve the problem of the companies at least they have a small income from i would say this income is small as compared to airline but this is some way for them to think of how to solve their problems, okay, how to solve their problems and then uh, to, to go for another direction. Maybe in future, this will be their, their business, okay, they will continue, maybe lah, I don't know what Thai Airways is doing, but this might be their own uh, future. All right, next we are going to look at one video clip. I want you to look at a few things in this video clip. This video clip is about about test score in a country known as South Korea. Okay, uh, South Korea, I don't need to explain. Tesco is a big supermarket worldwide. Uh, Tesco has many branches. It also in West Malaysia, like in KL, in Johor, in I think Malacca or many places also have Tesco, the very big supermarket. Okay, so we want to see how Tesco changed in, in South Korea. So, when you look at the videos, look at, uh, try to understand from first, what is the goal of the Tesco? What is their goal? What ideas did they propose? Apakah ideas? What ideas did they propose? What was important to ensure that ideas were feasible and what benefit did they enjoy? Okay, enjoy. All right, let's, uh, I stop the, this video uh, clip and then I will show you the, I will show you the, let me see. Okay, I will show you the video clip now. All right, can you see the video from from this? Uh, I share the new one. Can you see that? Okay, I think someone already mentioned yes. Uh, start. Is a unique market. Tesco okay, sorry, has been. Sorry. I think they missed the first. Is week. a unique market. Yeah. South Korea is a unique market. Tesco has been evolving itself, adjusting to the local market. It even changed the name itself from Tesco to Home Plus, and at last, it grew to rank number two in Korea. But Tesco had to overcome one obstacle a fewer number of stores compared to the number one company, eMart. Mission, could we become number one without increasing the number of stores? We made an in-depth study into Koreans once more. Koreans are the second most hardworking people in the world. For them, grocery shopping once a week is a dreaded task. So we decided to approach these busy and tired people. Idea. Let the store come to the people. We created virtual stores, hoping to blend into people's everyday lives. Our first try was subway stations. Although virtual, the displays were exactly the same as actual stores, from the display to the merchandise. Only one thing was different. You use smartphones to shop. Scan the QR code with your phone and the product automatically lands in your online cart.
When the online purchase is done, it will be delivered to your door right after you get home. People can relax more after work and on weekends. Result. People can shop at Tesco Home Plus wherever they go without having to visit the actual store. Moreover, we could change their waiting time to shopping time. After this campaign, online sales increased tremendously. Through this campaign, 10,287 consumers visited the online Home Plus mall using smartphones. The number of new registered members rose by 76%, and online sales increased 130%. Currently, Home Plus has become number one in the online market, and is a very close second offline. All right, so uh, I shared the link. Uh, I shared the link with you already. Uh, if you cannot, something wrong with the, the style. Okay, if you cannot see just now, you can always go to the link to YouTube to watch it. This is a very, uh, I would say, a quite old video already okay quite old video trip about talking about that score a few years already but still very interesting every time i look at this this is still very interesting and then um you can learn a lot of things okay lots of things from this uh this video clip okay first thing all right when uh test score Okay, when they go into the Korea market, South Korea market, they change their names, right? I mean, for some reasons, they want to make the, the name closer to the mind of the local people, so they change the name. So this is the, one of the strategies that we can see here, the name of the companies. Beside that, what is the goal of the test call, remember? The goal of the test call. They want to become number one without increasing their store. Yes, a very good answer. All right, number one without increasing their store. They want to be number one. But they have that. They say, uh, I have maybe have uh, this amount of store already. I don't want to increase my store because the store is a big cost, cost uh, when you start a new store. So how to increase my business with just the store that I have. So they think of uh, new ideas, all right? New ideas is to let us come closer to the people. This is something very similar to online purchase that we used to be. But few years back, the video is taken, uh, this video clip talking about the story about Tesco many years, not only two, I think four, at least six to seven years ago, uh, many years ago. So that time, the online purchase is not that popular. And then that is why they you make use of the the M station the station they call it subway subway station or we call it MRT station whatever station uh, train station to promote their product and then it look like the same product exactly the same if you look at the picture it's exactly the same like what you see in the supermarket it's just that you cannot take it okay but the photo very close to the real one. Okay, so that is important, all right? They have the ideas, the idea must be creative. And then what was important, ensure that ideas were visible. Apa yang penting? What is important? Let's look at the, uh, let's give me the answer for the third one. What is important to ensure that the ideas is uh, workable? Any answer for the third question? Any answer? Third question, what was important? What factors make it possible for the ideas to, to, to work? Convenient? Not only that, not really convenient. What is important to ensure that the ideas is workable? Remember or not? The delivery service? Yes, they must have a delivery service in another world. If most people have handphone, smartphone, then you can do it. You can scan. Working people are able to shop online. Okay, I think from City Asia, you have a very good point. 
um, actually before they come up with the ideas, they have looking to something very, very important. What did they do? They score. And you remember? Sebelum, sebelum dia cadang idea ni. Before this idea is being proposed, they, search, they look at, they did a, apa yang dia buat? Anybody? Survey, yes, good answer. Okay, they did the survey. Okay, they did the survey. So the survey is so, so important. Remember, bukan saja untuk Tesco. It's not only for Tesco, but for you all also. When before you start your business, you have to do survey of your product. Okay, one way to do survey is you come up with yourself. One example, one way. You come up with the example of your product, take picture. Of course, now you are, you are not in the uh, university campus, so you cannot see your friends face to face. So you come with example, you take pictures, and then you ask whether people wanted to buy it or not. Okay, you give um, you tell people, ask people whether you're interested to buy my product or not. This is the idea. Uh, you get some ideas from your friends. Maybe you get some. Uh, you ask them how much money they are willing to pay, and then. Uh, uh, how do they want to pay you? So, uh, so the survey is very, very important for you. Okay. So Tesco show a very good example of uh, this, this video group. They show the, the survey. They did the survey and with the survey, they suggest the ideas. So same thing uh, for your business, for your project. Okay, next. What are the techniques to create ideas? For example, using brainstorming. One way, brainstorming. Everyone come up with the ideas and then we find out the best one. Second, false analogy. False analogy means that you force them to to uh, suggest uh, or I force you, for example, you must prepare your your presentation in week four. Okay, this is compulsory presentation in week four. I will give you the timetable next week for your presentation in week four. So this is what we call false analogy under the paksa. During the false analogy, it means that you need to, you are under pressure. So you need to come up with the ideas. Whether you like it or not, you come up with the idea. Sometimes the idea will be better, right? And then next, do it, define the problem. What is the problem facing? Open-minded, identifying the best solution and transform your ideas. Okay, so what, what you call do it. So now, for example, you uh, the the many restaurants they see this people cannot go out as a problem of people, so they can't start to do delivery of food. Okay, delivery of food. So these are some of the uh, the ways of doing it. Okay, mind mapping. Nominal group meaning that you even ask your parents, maybe your brother and sister for a suggestion what you can do. Okay. And then another thing like I mentioned, survey and observation, very, very important. All right. With survey, then you know what to do next, creative ideas. And then this is another one technique for generating idea. This idea, we call it a uh, six thinking head, six thinking head. So it means that let's say you have six people in a group. One will be the leader, the sky, who will lead the, the uh, conversation or the discussion. So one, will, he will say, okay, uh, maybe Amina, okay, you take this uh, green thinking hat. So your job or your task, Tang Jamama, is during this first 15 minutes or 10 minutes of discussion, you think creative ideas and tell me about what what can you do okay the second person uh, okay maybe situation you look for uh you take the yellow thinking hat means that you look for constructive thinking ideas so you can improve the ideas constructive thinking then okay? you can improve it and then objective the next person take up the uh, for example uh, okay the objective thinking for example white thinking hat you what you do is you will look at it from, uh, for example, how much money we have to spend for this one. Okay. Do we have the skills? So very objective. Okay. Very objective. And then uh, what are the skills needed? 
what are the uh, tools maybe if you want to do marketing you want to prepare the the browser whatever you need the skills of doing design using your your computer for example the skills and so on all right and then another person maybe you you appoint another person uh, maybe who is in the, in the list uh nicholas maybe you you think of you take the black thinking head you think of creative and negative uh thinking okay creative and negative for example uh sorry not creative critical and negative thinking for example i think that this cannot be done because we don't have the tools okay this cannot be done because the cost is too high people cannot afford this cannot be done because of that so you try to critique okay what are the slightly problems that are facing by you what are the problems facing by you okay by this group for the ideas and then red emotional meaning that you think of if i prepare this for sale what are the value emotional value or the 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 value uh in terms of not only value for money but emotional value for example people selling postcards postcard what is the uh, value of postcard people still buy postcard why what is the value of postcard because it shows that you've been to some place okay with the beautiful uh, uh, beautiful pictures you remember that you've been to somewhere and then you keep a record for example and then next the leader after 10 minutes will uh, will change huh? ask you to uh, swap swap that means change different people will take up different different uh, tasks okay so during the discussion maybe 20 minutes maybe half an hour you you think of it from different perspective and the leader can compound the ideas to make it a better ideas so this is what we call six thinking head i find that this is quite uh quite interesting for you to try out then you can try in your group discussion okay remember a group leader you have to keep record of your when is your group discussion who attended that and keep some photos okay uh by the end of the day i expect you to to send this your record of course you don't keep it very detailed you are just a simple record for example what day what time you 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 start a meeting how many minutes this is your meeting just very simple uh how long is your meeting uh and then anybody not attending okay also uh, simple information you keep a simple record and then at the end of the day i want you to check your record sometimes i'm not not say you have to uh, report it in detail no i just want you to check your record sometimes if your friends asking why i don't get good marks for your micro but my friends got better marks for this group work then maybe it's because you are not doing your job okay if group leaders show me the proof that your member one of your member most of the time not doing the job without good reason some of your friends have internet problem but they still do their part then it's okay but if some of them don't have internet problem they just disappear without reason then you should let me know okay so innovations there are many types there are invention there are extension extension means you extend you add on new services for example whatsapp we use sms uh uh type of whatsapp uh, before message after that we have video call and later on we don't know what else they add on so this is the extension mean, meaning that you add on new service and then another type duplicate meaning that you create or you duplicate from another industry okay from another industry to your industry for example to the from the fast food industry franchise you see people fast food industry they have this franchise so this is one idea franchise then you use this franchise this idea to to start your industry of education for example you have a franchise of tuition center in another city this is example if your tuition center is so popular so famous people everybody go to your tuition center because everyone come out from your tuition center get a good grades okay get a so everyone becomes so um your tuition center becomes so popular then ah you start a franchise business for example and synthesis synthesis means you combine different products to become a new product 
For example, before that, our handphone is just sending messages, uh, calling people, two things. But after that, we add on the camera into the handphone. So your camera now, uh, your handphone is also your camera. You don't need to buy a big camera now. You just need a good handphone. Okay, for the picture, for example. All right. So uh, this is for unit two, unit two. So remember, I already explained to you for your class activity, you need to think of what uh, you you want to do for your your group project. Huh? You need to start thinking because week four, you need to present the ideas already using PMC. So next week, I will explain to you what is PMC. Right, next week, I will cover unit three and unit four. The most important thing is I will cover unit for the BMC part, all right? And then this, um, you can have some, check this video, this video for the creative ideas. And then I want to go to the e-commerce. I share a little bit about uh, e-commerce here with you because e-commerce is uh, something that important that you must register, remember? Let me get the link first. Right, it's uh, compulsory. WhatsApp must be register diri anda dalam e-commerce. Let me copy the link for you. Okay, it's the link for e-commerce. Please register after the class, okay? Not now, lah, because now uh, I just want to explain. Okay, when you go to the link, let me open the, present the, the video with you. Uh, the e-commerce, okay, share this with you. All right, I share the, the first page of e-commerce with you. Nampak? Uh, uh, go e-commerce. Nampak? Okay. All right, while we are waiting, this Go e-commerce website provides some information for you to, to, to do business, all right? It's to help out new entrepreneurs, to help out people with, like you who don't know anything about business to, to start your business. So this Go e-commerce is uh, something that prepared by the MTEC, okay? It is not prepared by UMS. So every one of you, you need to register here. The, the benefit of registering here in the Go e-commerce is so that by the end of this semester, selepas kamu uh, raporkan uh, jualan anda masing-masing. So everybody, everyone must register. After you register, then you can go up to see some of the videos, uh, not all the videos. Some of the videos or information are open for you. Okay, it's free. So after that, by the end of this semester, uh, around week, week 11, you have to report yourself in the website. You Everybody report your own selves. Katakanlah, enam orang dalam satu kumpulan. Dan uh, anda, uh, anda satu orang menjual mungkin, uh, you are very hard looking. Uh, you satu orang menjual dekat 200 ringgit produk. Manakala kawan kamu jual produk yang lain. You jual satu produk saja 200 ringgit. So you just record yourself in the website under your own personal account. Okay. After that, saya akan check pada hujung semester, saya akan check, I will check. Then I will approve and then you will get your certificate. This certificate is very important because with this certificate, it shows that you have the working uh, experience as a businessman or entrepreneur. It's really helped you. Okay? It's really helped you when you want to go out. You need something that not only showing you as a student, you learn something, but also you need working experience. But you say, oh, I don't have working experience. I never, some of you might be never worked before. So this Certificate will show that at least you join the class, you complete the practicum activities, you have some experience as entrepreneur. It's very helpful. And remember, I can say using your own personal emails and your own common use password. So, but 
Website ini kalau anda lupa password, if you forget your password, you have to come back to me to 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 uh, ask them to redo your password or other thing. Okay, they cannot do it automatically. Like like your email, you forgot your password. They have a system. You can do it, improve and uh, change your password automatically yourself without the help of people. But this website, you need to use your personal email. And then you need to use your own uh, common password because any uh, if you forgot your password, you cannot do it. You cannot get your account anymore. Okay, so you have to come back to me. It's a bit difficult. So for this go e-commerce website, please log. Uh, remember to register yourself. Uh, register everyone, not only one group, one person. Everyone register yourself using a personal account. Remember that and. Okay, I think you can check on. Uh, there are many things like they have this uh, go e commerce community trainer success stories that you can have a look. For example, there are success story as uh, telling you uh, what they are doing. Okay, from people uh, like people from the Kuala Tengkanu, for example, okay, from Kelantan, and these are all the uh, Things that you can have a look. Okay, very interesting. Uh, so, um, all right. So, my lecture for today, I will stop here. Again, okay, because it's you have something already. Remember, two things uh, you have to do. First, you have to register yourself in the whole e-commerce using your own personal email and password that you always use. Second thing, remember your attendance. Okay. Remember to record your attendance. If you miss the lecture today, I will set a, a upload a recording card, a recording one in my YouTube later. I will upload a recording one in your YouTube later. If you watch the YouTube and you miss my lecture, you watch the YouTube. Make sure you like the YouTube video. Correct. After that, you go to attendance as and sign in your attendance as well. Okay, because APK require you to have full attendance. So that's why if you miss the lecture, no problem. You go to my YouTube, you watch the video clip, you like the video clip, and then you go to the uh, attendance, log in your attendance as soon as possible within one week. Huh? I don't want you to, after two weeks, only you watch the video and then you come back to our attendance, which I will not mark your attendance anymore. I give you one week to do all these things, okay? Mark your attendance, and then after one week, I keep the record already. I will not repeat it again and again. All right. Any questions before I stop? Any questions before I stop? Okay. Uh. uh Usual procedure. Okay. Uh, anyone willing to open up uh, to show me your face? You can show me now. I will take some pictures. I'll take your pictures if you want to show me your face. Open your uh, on your camera. Uh, turn on your camera. Anyone willing to turn on your camera? Please turn on your camera. Uh, anybody? Okay. <laughs> yeah, somebody already. Beautiful ladies here today. Okay, whoever. All right, who else? Who else? Who else? Let me have some handsome boy. The other guy, handsome man. Others are okay. All right. Uh, if you have questions, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, ask in WhatsApp lah. Ada uh, soalan tentang kumpulan tu nanti kamu tanya dalam WhatsApp. But please remember, I will share some informations about the group later. Hari ini nanti petang ah petang sikit saya akan share something about the the group things uh the the business ideas using the WhatsApp. You can check that for for more informations. Okay, anybody else? Any more? Any more? I, I save it in uh, uh, my keep a record ah. Yeah. Any 
anything else? Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. Eh? Thank you for, for attending the class. If you have any questions, just let me know. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank doctor. You, doctor. Thank, you. thank you, doctor. 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 Thank you, doctor.